So if you've been on Twitter and our Twitch the past few days, I'm sure you've heard about the new changes that Twitch has recently implemented, mainly being those changes to a lot of their sexual content policies and a lot of new things being allowed on the website. Now, that change only went through a couple of days ago, and Twitch is already rolling a lot of it back, it seems like, probably because of there was quite a lot of NSFW art and other things on Twitch the day after that they had allowed the information for those topics. If you go to their website, they did make an updated post by Dan Clancy, the Twitch CEO. Mainly if you go down here, it's just effective today. They are rolling back all of the artistic nudity, nudity changes. Moving forward, depictions of real and or fictional nudity will not be allowed on Twitch, regardless of the medium. But that restriction does not apply to the mature rated games, so that isn't changing. Now, if you ask me, I think they're doing this because they're probably afraid that advertisers would stop paying for advertisements on their platform. You know, with Twitter, if with every little thing, people are going to start to take away their ad advertisements or just straight up do it. So I'm sure with a bunch of nudity and considering that Twitch is a 13 plus website, Twitch is probably getting pretty scared about what kind of repercussions there could possibly be. Personally, I don't think the changes needed to be done in the first place. I thought Twitch was kind of fine where it was at. And I do kind of find it funny how many people went on to twi Twitch the next day and tried pushing those boundaries. Personally, I don't think I would have bothered doing anything more than I was already doing. Just because I wouldn't want to, you know, risk anything. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw some regular artists just getting banned for doing their normal stuff. Because I guess people were just being mass reported for no reason. Also, if we do go back into here, the entire reason for the post from before was so they could clarify their new rules and what is and isn't a lot on Twitch. And here they are again stating they need to do it again essentially. And as you can see here, it does say that the world is new to artists and saying that some of their content policies were pretty limiting. But it's just that they immediately went too far as soon as they did put up that newer policies. It's just because people read it. some people read it wrong. Some people went on to stream and decided to essentially stream their VTuber model nude or to, you know, again, just draw super NSFW work, which I'm not sure why you would have even bothered considering Twitch's track history from beforehand. And also, as you can see here, there was a bit of concern from the community as well, it seems. And it looks like they are also sharing in that concern, again, probably because either advertisers are threatening to, might be threatening to pull out because the more NSFW content that is now was now allowed on there or maybe just too many people threatening to quit Twitch or something or they were getting too many bans and mass reports so they just didn't want to deal with it anymore so they yeah they did essentially just roll back a lot of those changes and they even admit here that they went too far with it you know I'm not sure why they didn't just review this information a lot deeper because like this entire change I think was brought on by somebody streaming topless but like not actually showing anything off then the day after you know they got banned for like a day or a week and they made these changes everybody went crazy and for some reason they decided to completely mostly roll everything back and also I don't think I really would have had a problem with the changes from before, as long as they were better segmented or filtered out. As I wasn't, I was never going to Twitch for that kind of stuff. So I would preferably want to have a way to filter ev all of that out. So all my, you know, the recommendations on the side of the page, or the recommendations in the middle of the page. Just have a way to get rid of all that so I don't have to see it. That's not what I'm on Twitch for. That's not what most people are really on to Twitch for. But anyways, yeah, just let me know what you think about all these re all these recent changes to Twitch. Now them making the changes in the first place and then all rolling them all back. So if you do have any thoughts or comments on this, go ahead and leave those comments down in down below. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe go check out one of these other videos as well if you want to go ahead and see more.